morning. Good morning, Maxi ladies. Did you have a lovely weekend? It was so sunny up here in Auckland, which is so good. Good to get outside uh, just for a change of space and pace. Uh, today we are thinking buttercream and all that deliciousness and that uh, we wanted to kind of profile that is the new trend in color out there. So that kind of all those crema colors, you right there? Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> just had to chuck a bit. Chuck a bit of moisturizer on the. Oh, <laughs> um, so today we thought, yeah. So we, we were um, we were channeling the buttercream look. So I've got my um, rooftop gallery. 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 Dress. I always get it wrong. Gallery dress because uh, I'm loving it. It's just such an easy dress to just throw on and get my day underway. Um, and this is in that lovely crema color, which is just nice, um, nice mm. and buttercreamy looking. And I put it on with my little knocks. Um, these are a. They've got that kind of luggy sole on the outside. They've got a beautiful soft, I'll whip my shoe off so you can see, uh, footbed on the inside. And then that lovely, almost quilted looking crossover front strap. What I want you ladies to look at is how beautiful that front strap is on this shoe. So some of them, you can see like toes like shooting out, lots of toe cleavage down the front. But this does cover the foot really, really nicely and cover those toes. So really flattering style on. Um, I've got Renee waiting in the wings to show you the black version of this. There, you know? Yeah, so there you go. There's the ivory and, um, and the black. Um, ebony and ivory. There's a song about that. Um, so... <laughs> The full um, outfits, ivory and black. Yeah, we have. We have, yeah. actually. Yeah, tone on tone. Uh, so, yeah. And so, actually, Renee, just shooting up her body, has got the um, scoop neck uh, overdress on. A scoop neck? Yes. Yeah, scoop neck overdress on. Um, with her little slice slit. She's got a little belt. little matching chiffon belt in there. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and just wearing nice... Yeah, yeah it's just a nice, it's simple... Chuckle. Yeah, nice little simple outfit. Yeah. yeah. Um, so today we had, I feel like we had a couple of things we had to talk to the ladies about. Clothes. Reviews. Clothes, clothes and reviews. Yeah. Okay, so a And things, podcast. Um, yeah, Renee is getting hit up a lot about the clothing. Where is it, where is it, where is it? And we have, we do keep saying that we uh, can only get it as, um, as quickly to you as we're getting it received in from our FedEx DHL couriers. Uh, that are bringing the parcels in from China. So we just, as soon as we hear anything, as soon as we know that it's landed, we will let you know. We are still on track, however, for mid-November. Yes. Um, I don't even know what the date is today, but we... It's like know, the 7th, right? 7th, right? Yeah. yeah. So mid-November, we kind of are calling about 14th through the, about the 21st or something like that. So that's what we're hoping for. Yes. Um, yeah. The other cool thing is, uh, on our site, we, um, Ella's been beavering away in the background, working on a bit of a new app uh, for you ladies to write reviews to help other ladies with their shopping experience. Um, it's something that we've noticed when we've gone online over lockdown to buy things, and you read, um, you know, Renee's review, I bought the, um, the Knox slide, I actually went up a size in it, love the fit of it. Um, love the colour of it, all the features of it, that kind of thing. Uh, or equally, if you bought it and you felt like um, it was a little bit tight fitting and you want others to know, uh, that's, I mean, it's an honest guide for other ladies shopping. Mm. So if you do get a little prompt after you've purchased, I would encourage you to, if you wouldn't mind, just clicking through the link. It's just like mm. a very quick, there's some little prompting things there to help you just kind of structure it. We all, only just want a sentence from you. Um, yeah. it's, just gonna, it's so helpful for other ladies, only because we found that. And it would be really good if you say this, how the size fits. That's, yes. Yes. that's yeah. going to really help with um, the online shopping experience as yeah. we yes. navigate COVID. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, you suddenly kind of realise yourself when you've been spending a bit yeah. of time online buying. That yeah. you, what is helpful, and definitely those reviews are really, yeah. really helpful. Um, Claire West says, hey, Renee. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your friend? Go do some work. It's my cousin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie will leave bored if she's watching me at work. <laughs> I'll drop off your wine. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. Um, the other thing, too, is I want to give a, Kate, uh, a shout out to Caitlin, um, Caitlin Taylor of Chasing Kate. She um, has a podcast regularly um, on uh, body image and um, those kind of like uh, really helpful interviews and things like that. So she's interviewed some pretty outstanding women uh, from all sorts of business backgrounds and things and I was fortunate enough to uh, snaffle some time with her on, I think we did that on Friday, 
and she put that up yesterday. So uh, there's a bit of an hour-long podcast, a bit of a really genuine little chat between the two of us. First podcast they've ever done. Um, and yeah, so go, go and have a listen if you want to feel slightly inspired by things. Are you right there, Lisa? Oh, S- Siri said she can't hear the what you're saying. The volume's oh. low. Can anyone hear what I'm saying, ladies? I hope so. <laughs> Claire West said, um, Renee, uh, haha, homeschooling, and yes, I need the wine. <laughs> <laughs> cute. That's so cute. We all need that. We all need that. Um, so, yeah, so what we're going to do is on the bottom of the slide, we're going to put the link to Caitlin's uh, podcast. And um, I like honestly go through and see some of the uh, other women she's interviewed, some amazing talent um, that she's had chats with. So, uh, yeah, now we're on that list, which is pretty cool. Uh, so Kelly said she can hear us. Thanks, Kelly. Oh, thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Kels. That's good. Uh, anyway, I think that's about all we want oh. to kind of touch base with. Was there something uh, else? Maybe mention the shop hours and what we were oh, thinking about. The shop hours, the okay. Yep. Here the yep, 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 yep. So, um, obviously, there's some uh, an updated announcement today about shopping. We desperately hope, and all indications show, that we should be able to open up again on Wednesday. So, so excited for our Auckland retailers. Uh, it's you know going to be an amazing chance for them to get back open and get some uh, contact with you in consumers, which will be great. Uh, in terms of ourselves, we are going to be reducing our hours just slightly. So, um, if, should the announcement go ahead and all be positive for opening Wednesday, we'll be opening from 9:30 till 4 o'clock um, during the weekdays and 9:30 till just 12 o'clock on the Saturdays. Um, just keep the just a quick short time um, on the Saturday there. Uh, I'll probably come in and just man the Saturday. Um, Leanne's, yeah, she's just uh, working through her own um, things about whether she can come in or not yet. So I'm just going to shoot in on Saturday mornings until we get up and running again properly. So as and when we work through those announcements, we will update our website. Uh, that's where you've been updating it. Yeah, I've and, been updating it. And um, in the yeah, Facebook. And Facebook. Yeah, great. Yeah. So yeah, so we'll update our uh, website and Facebook as and when those things change and all of that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, obviously we really want you to go out and support your local Auckland retailers. They're dying to see you. Um, they were so excited about last week's announcement saying this was going to be a possibility Wednesday. Yeah. I think, I think that's all for today, ladies. Um, we'll just be chipping away, oh, no, getting everything. We just going to oh. quickly show you Lisa's outfit because she looks like so bright and cheerful and sparky. Here, I, we, um, Renee and I were in our <laughs> ebony and ivory outfit and um, here's Lisa in her hot pink She's got her little trig sandals, her um, reader top, and Hayworth pants on with that. I think we've still got a few of these, eh, in the hot pink, yeah. So uh, a little bit of bright inspo for you there. Anyway, ladies, have a great day. We'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.